Hi, my name is Steve. I'm one of the horticulturists here at Rogers Gardens, and today I'd like to show you how to force paper white narcissus. I'd like to give you just a little background on paper white narcissus before we get going on our project. Uh, paper whites belong to a group of narcissus called tezetas, which have usually between 10 and 20 small fragrant flowers per stem. And the nice thing about these is that if you have large bulbs, you can get several stems per bulb. Uh, these are native to the southern regions of Spain and uh, northern Africa and because of this uh, they come from a warmer climate like ours and they don't need a winter chill like hyacinths and tulips to force them. So this makes them super easy to force. It usually takes about four to six weeks for the first flowers to open from the time you plant the bulbs. But this can vary depending on the temperature at which they are forced. The warmer the temperature, the shorter the time it takes to bloom but the only problem with forcing them at warm temperatures is that they can tend to stretch out. What I like to do is I start them at a warm temperature and as we start getting the growth on them, I'll move them to a cool, bright windowsill or even outdoors where we have cool night temperatures. The first method for forcing paper whites I'm going to show you today is using a uh, container with no holes in the bottom. We're going to use this glass container today. Uh, you also need some type of pebbles. We're going to use white ones here, but they come in all different colors. And then of course the bulbs. Um, our buyer got hold of some really large bulbs this year. These are the largest I think I've ever seen. And the advantage of using a real large bulb is that they produce not only one main flower stalk, but several small ones, which will can add to the, um, the bloom. It's really quite simple using this first method. All you have to do is pour your pebbles in your container. And I don't fill it all the way to the top because we need to leave room for the bulbs. This container will hold about three bulbs, three of these large bulbs. And a lot of people will just set them on top of the pebbles and have the roots grow down through. I like to anchor the bulbs, so I'll leave some space to add some additional pebbles. And it really doesn't matter. You can cover them up to the top of the bulbs or halfway. And so I just like to firm these down. And then the important step is to actually just add water. And when you're doing this, you want to add the water just so it reaches the bottom of the bulbs. The advantage of using this clear glass container is you can see the water level coming up here. And that's just about to the bottom of the bulbs. What will happen now is that these will, within a matter of a few days, these will start rooting and you can actually see the roots growing down through the pebbles. Just make sure you keep that water level up to about the bottom of the bulb. If you get it too high, you run the risk of rotting the bulbs. So somewhere uh, right at the base is just the ideal level. The second method for forcing paper whites involves a special bulb vase that holds just one bulb. And in this case, all you need to do is fill the bulb vase with water. And we'll do this just up to that where the neck narrows and the bulb just gets placed down in here and we just want to make sure that water level comes up just to the base of the bulb and within a matter of two or three days you'll start seeing the roots growing down into the water the third method involves using a standard flower pot this is actually called a bulb pan it's uh, it's a little shorter than a standard flower pot it's made for, for forcing bulbs and with this method I like to start with a keeper stopper this is just a little screen that covers the hole in the bottom. So we just take one of these out and we can place this over the drainage hole just to keep the soil from spilling out. I take the pot, our potting soil. I like to use a moistened potting soil, not too wet, but just barely moist. And I'll fill this pot about halfway with the potting soil. And I like to firm it down. Once we've done that, we can place the bulbs in here. And I like to crowd these together. Uh, you get just a much better display. The more bulbs you put in the pot, of course, the more flowers you end up with. So I fit uh, six bulbs in this bulb pan here. After these are placed, I'll just fill this up with more potting soil. And uh, I like to press down firmly. This will keep the bulbs in place. Sometimes when they start rooting, 
they'll tend to push the bulbs up. So if you can get this soil packed around the bulbs fairly tightly, you'll end up with less problems in the long run. Okay, so we've got our pot filled with soil. Leave a little room uh, just below the rim. And after these are all in place, again, I like to water them in well. <clears throat> and for the first time at least, I'll water this until I see water actually coming out the bottom of the drainage hole. This way uh, we can be assured that the, the uh, potting soil is wet right down to the bottom. Again, this is Steve, and thank you for joining me today. I hope I've inspired you to try forcing paper whites yourself. It's such an easy project and a great project for the kids. It's always nice to have these in bloom for the holidays or any time during the fall and winter months. Happy growing. Aww.